Hey everyone, Jim with Evolution Power Sports here today to talk about our high flow intake kit for the Can Am Maverick R. Uh, first thing we want to talk about is, um, you know, back from uh, you know the experience that we've had in the off road industry and with our supercar routes uh, from you know the early 2000s up through the mid mid uh, 2015s, um, designing a proper uh, intake. Um, especially when you're trying to make more than stock power is very important. The factory usually engineers an intake system for roughly stock horsepower plus a little bit. And what we, what we began to see on the Maverick R was when we started to get into that 300 wheel horsepower range, the power would fall off uh, pretty substantially, uh, especially as we got over 9,000 RPMs. And so we weren't exactly sure initially what the cause of that was. We thought maybe that the valve springs were, were weak on the motor and, you know, we were losing, you know, some compression that way. But as it turned out, you know, it, it was all due to the OEM uh, intake system. So our system, uh, basically what we've done is re-engineer it so that um, we get rid of the, the Donaldson style uh, filter canister. And the reason we do that is twofold. Uh, for one, there's not enough uh, surface area of the filter and or the inlet of the, the canister to the Donaldson to support the flow. And the second reason is, is that the way the Donaldson works is basically the air kind of comes in that inlet, comes around the filter, everything comes through the filter at once, and then there's a very short intake to the, the turbocharger inlet. And the problem with that is that the, the air is, is very turbulent as it's entering the turbo. And that also um, leads to inefficiency uh, in the turbocharger. So the way we approach this, this problem, uh, you know, to, to bring you a higher performing uh, intake system is, first thing we did was uh, approach a top filter manufacturer in the US to get the proper off-road filtration media and design a filter that's physically about twice the size of the OEM filter. Okay, the second thing we did was we wanted to locate the, the actual filter itself in the high pressure area uh, where the OEM ducting for the intercooler is. So that way you get, I mean, the OEM system is like that a little bit, but, but this way, you know, you're kind of getting some of that ram air, there's a little bit of pressure in that and it gives it a little bit above atmospheric pressure there, which helps the efficiency of the turbocharger. And then the last thing is, and this is probably the most important, is that we designed it with, with a very large inlet that comes out of the filter uh, and then into our Venturi. And then that gradually necks down uh, from that diameter down to the, the uh, inlet of the turbocharger. And what that does is it, straightens out and smooths the air that's entering the turbo, okay? And that makes the turbo more efficient. Uh, and, and not only that, but because of the, the physical size of the, um, the filter itself and where it's located, there's just a ton of overhead for uh, airflow to the engine. As you can see, you know, we're gaining about 25 wheel horsepower on our X85 tune above 9,000 RPMs. That's a huge difference between uh, the you know between the OEM airbox and that really showed us how restrictive the stock airbox is. And what you'll find is is that you know the EVP HFI will benefit all customers regardless of tune. But as the power increases, uh, as the airflow demands of the engine increase with more power, the the gains only become more and more pronounced uh, at those higher power numbers and higher RPMs. One more benefit that most gearheads are going to love is that, you know, because that filter is located in the uh, ducting system for the OEM, you'll be able to hear that turbo whistle just beautifully. So um, these are available now. Uh, you can check us out at evopowersports.com for more information.